Hey guys, today we're checking out Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate on the Nintendo Switch. This is the demo uh, that Capcom has put out. It's available today. You can go download it yourself and check it out. And I'm not the biggest Monster Hunter person. I've told you guys that several times, but we are going to be reviewing this. And Evan, who is a bit more familiar with Monster Hunter than I am, will actually be uh, taking the lead on that and doing a review. I, he's also going to be doing a preview on it as well. So if you're kind of curious uh, about that, uh, look for that. Uh, starting next week, you'll start seeing some coverage for it from him. But today, I figured we would check out Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate, the demo, so you can kind of get a feel for it and see what it's all about. And I'll do my best to get us uh, through one of these hunts. <laughs> uh, but what was cool was when I first when I first turned it on, it has single player, and then it appears to have multiplayer, which you can play in local play or online play. And this appears to be part of the demo, which is kind of neat. So you could try it. You could try out the multiplayer online and then the local play if you have people around you with multiple Switch systems. And it makes sense uh, considering the amount of monsters and content in the full version, which from what I've researched and seen, it's significantly more than uh, when it comes to world. Uh, but it's a bit different because it's not, I guess, an all-encompassing map. There are sections that you go through. I mean, it's the 3DS version that was moved to the to the Switch. So let's jump into single player, and I guess we'll do... There are three different ones you can do. You can either do uh, the beginner, intermediate, and advanced. I think you know which one I'm going to pick, which is beginner. Uh, also, I, I think it helps if you have multiple people to, to fight, like, uh, as you, like Slay, who will probably ruin me since there is a full danger sign flashing right in front of me right now. Uh, so let's do beginner. Uh, a ton of stuff you can pick from to use, and I'm tempted to use like the long sword. I think that's what I used last time. I believe sword and shield is probably better uh, for beginners. Then you have like the two swords, uh, the the large what is this switch axe? You got the switch axe. I get oh that that's right. That's the one that can morph between axe and sword. I, I used that in world. It was pretty cool. Uh, bow and arrow. It looks like uh, charge blade. I'm thinking about going dual blaze just because it looks kind of fun and I haven't tried that. So let's try that. And then you have uh, um, your styles you could pick from. Let's see, what do I want to use? Uh, the striker, which I guess would make sense. Charge up, eh, turn it, allow for 200 hours. Let's go with, uh, let's go with striker. Yep, and start quest. And this is all, appears to be just part of the demo as you would, uh, you know, build up your character in the normal version and everything, go around hunting monsters, collecting material, and then crafting more weapons and armors and everything. And it's, it's a whole, it's a whole thing to get into, I know. <laughs> so let's, uh, I think the last monster I really played, uh, a decent amount was on the PSP, and I'm trying to remember which one it was. It might have been Freedom? They had so many weird, like, uh, titles for their stuff. I think it was Freedom. Anyway, here we are. The, so visually, you can see it, it is uh, a 3DS version that is technically upscaled to 1080p. And it's not going to be the best looking Switch game, right? Obviously, it's a 3DS game that's been upscaled and, 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 it, and it runs better than the 3DS version. It looks better. And uh, we're going to check it out as well in handheld mode, guys. So I will give you footage of that as well. So we have, uh, let's see, we have X is, uh, yep, okay. So we have X is our... Standard swing, and then we also have A, and then R. There we go. So these are all different combos and stuff you can use. Um, let me uh, let me see. Generally, they have like hunter's notes, and they'll have like weapon controls. I wonder if that has my. A lot of times you can, at least in world. There we go. Okay, so we have uh, different combination stuff we can do. Demon mode. Uh, there's a four dodge with B. Sheath puts them away and everything. Okay. So let's uh, let's let's move up here and find the monster that we're supposed to, be, supposed to be hunting. As you can see, there are different quadrants, which makes sense because it's the 3DS version. If you're familiar with World, I, I do remember playing that. It was pretty much all wide open. You just run between those areas uh, without any loading screens and everything like that. This one, there's there's just areas that are pretty much predetermined, and we kind of go through paths and then go to the next area, which we can see the monster is moving to four, so we'll want to run through here. We're trying to catch up to him so we can just start beating him up, essentially, the monster, and uh, and then, I guess, collect. We, we should be able to collect stuff, but I think because it's the demo, as soon as we finish uh, hunting and defeating the monster, we would, we'll pretty much get a, a congratulations, thanks for playing screen. Otherwise, though, you would... Oh, here we go. Here we go. He sees me. 
Otherwise, you would uh, you would be collecting different pieces from him. And uh, let me let me see. So we have uh, we have our different abilities at the bottom right that I'm kind of building up right now as I attack him. And you have a nice dodge roll. It uses your stamina bar. Uh, but I'm building those up now as well as I attack him. And then we'll we'll pop some of those also to to do some more damage. And you would you would also be doing this with more people which will make the, I guess, a bit easier. Although I'm curious if, I'm sure someone can answer this down in the comments. I'm curious if the monsters will uh, scale with how many people you come in here with. So they'll have more HP, they'll be harder, they'll be more aggressive, they'll deal more damage. Um, that's something I, I'm, I'm curious about uh, that I would have to, I guess, play a bit more to see. But I'm sure there are some Monster Hunter veterans out there that can that's absolute evasion. Okay, that can that can tell me about that down below. <clears throat> so Bloodwind looks to be an attack. Absolute evasion is just an, just that an evasion. Uh, so we'll try Bloodwind next when I when I get to that point, which I guess it's best to use it after I knock him down because that's when he would be the most vulnerable. Though nothing's ready, of course, <laughs> to hit him with. But we'll just keep pummeling him. There we go. So oh that that. <laughs> so I hit him, I hit him and then I kept going and I went into the next area. So I guess that's something that would be kind of uh, annoying that's different from world that I'm noticing right away is that. Um, of course, I did play the Japanese demo as well, if you guys remember that. I, I didn't really know what was going on because it was all in Japanese. Um, I don't know if that's a normal thing that's kind of, that's, that might be frustrating for some is I guess if you hit them and you go into the next area with one of your techniques that keeps going. I guess that could be kind of annoying. Um, World was okay. I didn't mind it. I think the controls... Maybe it's just the Monster Hunter controls in general just don't really... Uh, see, knock me in the next area again. Uh, don't really work with me too well. I'm thinking that might be it. Uh, so now I need to go back here and go back through another loan street. Maybe I can pull him away from that, that entrance. Okay, so he's running away anyway. All right, so he's already away from it. So this should be a bit better now. So let's, uh, let's see if we can get him now that he is away from that area. Uh, yeah. It might be just the, just the, um, oh, nice, hit him. Just the controls themselves maybe don't work with me when it comes to Monster Hunter, because I know a lot of people like, like, uh, Max Dreamcast guy likes the game. Uh, I'm trying to think if Sean played the game much. Evan does like Monster Hunter. He's talked about it, and he played it, uh, I believe on the, on the Wii and the Wii U a good bit. I don't know if he played it. I don't think I haven't had a PSP. Like, I had a PSP, and I played Freedom. Please, what's called? Maybe Freedom, Freedom Unite? What was that called? They, like I said, the titles were so weird at the time. So we're just kind of wailing on this guy. And again, I don't have an ability ready for when I knock him over. Although, Wolf, Maul... Oh, nope, he's back up. Okay. I was going to say I could hit him when he... Oh, he's running. Okay, so now we're, we're, we're making some progress. Now he's running away. Uh, from what I remember in World, they would do that as you had so much damage done to them, they would try to shift areas or get away. So we're we're making some progress here. I haven't even hit him with, I think I hit him with one good ability and that was, I think, the Bloodwind a little bit ago. So we'll hit him, oh, we'll hit him, uh, we'll hit him again with something. Uh, I feel like I should probably knock him down before I hit him because that'll probably just do more damage. Oh, uh, he's getting close to that, that exit again. You can get him away from there. Although the, they seem to be keeping him over there. So that's good. <laughs> Alright, so I have a few things ready, and I might just hit him with Wolf Small anyway, although I probably should wait till I... I'm going to wait till I knock him down. So he's kind of... he's dancing around a little bit here. Actually, no, I will hit him because I think he's just hanging out. There we go. Ooh, nice. That Okay, so it does use uh, the, H the HD Rumble. Just there, it kind of popped with HD Rumble there, but it didn't like. Ooh, man, he's got, he's jumping away. It, it didn't uh, feel like much other than just the, the standard Rumble. So I don't know if they're using HD Rumble to the degree that uh, that other people do, like other studios use it. There we go. I'm gonna also pop, pop Demon Mode and do some damage to him as well. Um, but they are at least using it, just not to I guess the degree that um, other studios are. So I again I'll have to see more as we go forward here, but uh, when I when I did use what was that what was that oh it was Wolf's uh, Wolf's Maul, it um, it did some damage and it uh, kind of made that rumble, but it wasn't anything like distinctive. I want to get him, once he starts limping, I know he's pretty much almost done then. 
So that's what I want to get him to is when he's limping around. You guys will also have to tell me what the, I guess, what the best weapons are to really get into in this game because I'll try to start with those. I, I kind of like these daggers because they're pretty quick. Uh, I, I ran this before with uh, with a great sword. No, it was long sword. And, and I, I like that. That was okay. Uh, but I did like the, uh, the, the great sword, I guess. Probably because it was slower, but it did more damage. And uh, that, that felt like it actually had some serious impact whenever I hit him with it. So maybe that's why I liked it more. But you guys will have to let me know what, what I guess the better weapons or what your favorite weapons are for, uh, for using in, in Monster Hunter just in general. Well, he's, lip, he's limping now, so I, I guess that means that he's getting close to uh, tapping out. Uh, which, which is good. It just they take a lot. The, the monsters I, I notice the Monster Hunter uh, are damage sponges big time, so it takes a while to to knock them down and and get them done. Uh, so it takes a little bit of time. Um, but oh great, he's next to the the exit again. Get him away from there. Uh, but when you do defeat them, it's supposed to be you know a big deal and everything. So it, that at least makes sense to me. Uh, I feel like it'll be a lot more fun when I'm playing online with people because even on the PSP. I didn't really know anyone that I was playing with, because you could play online with those two. I didn't really know any, anyone really, so it would be, uh, it'd probably be more fun if you play online with some some friends and everything. And I know people have sunk, uh, seriously sunk hundreds of hours into these Monster Hunter games, so I know that they are at least good and, and uh, they have a big following, but I mean, I'll take a shot with this one to get into it. Uh, although at that point, if I do get into it, it sounds like I won't have much time uh, for anything else with the way people talk about these series. Uh, yeah, there we go, we got him, alright. So it just took quite a while to beat him up. <laughs> but, um, like I said, I'm curious if it scales if you have multiple people, or if it's just easier. At this point, you would walk up to him and you would start uh, uh, scavenging and, and cutting him up and cutting off hide and everything, and that's, you would use the like equipment stuff you gather, or materials, to build more equipment, whether it's weapons or armor, and generally you have like a little checklist of stuff you need to complete that, and that's why it becomes so addicting, because you're constantly trying to build your character with better stuff. Took uh, 10, 10 minutes, 30 seconds, and 80 milliseconds to, to defeat this, uh, this guy. And that wasn't too bad. That was Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. That's the beginner boss. There are still two others you can do. One intermediate, and then, oh look, I can go pause and go buy it. Uh, one intermediate, and uh, one expert boss. So there is a couple things to do, and it has multiplayer, which is interesting, local, and online. So actually a pretty, a pretty sizable demo, to be, to be honest, for people to try out. Uh, I, I like that. I guess that, that definitely tells me that there is quite a bit to this game if they're willing to let people play this much in the demo and even use multiplayer, which uh, I'm not really sure how that would work. Do you just go to your friends list? Let me see. Why don't I, uh, why don't I do this? Okay, so it has a create a hunter's hub, and then um, you can recruit people or you can search for one. Uh, let me see what happens. I'm actually, oh, 14, okay, yeah, I don't have that. Uh, so I guess you would create a, hunt, a hunter's hub or just a room, and then you'd have a number to give people um, so they can join in. But uh, pretty cool. I'm going to leave you guys with some handheld footage. Thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure you guys give this video a like if you liked it. Dislike it. If not, make sure you stay tuned because we're going to have coverage for this, a preview and a full review uh, that should be there ahead of release date so you can check it out. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.